Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you for the love and the support. So, my beautiful people, today I have a quick one to share with you. This is coming to you from Barista Aloy Ejemako Abba. You guys know that Barista Aloy Ejemako is doing a wonderful work. And Barista Aloy Ejemako and Barista Ifa Njofo, they are both friends working with Mazi in Abdikanu as the lead counsel to IPOB. And since 2015, they have been up and down with Mazi in Abdikanu, of which a lot of people know. All of a sudden, uh, Sir Mike Ezeko may enter the picture, also trying to make sure things work out. But all of a sudden, we were hearing something that Barista, in fact, in age of four, and Barista Lawyer Jemako, they are not working in accordance to the demands of Mazi in Abdikanu. Hereby, they were sacked. And after they sacked them, according to the family of Mazina Abdikanu, they said Mazina Abdikanu no longer give any update. Like there is no information coming to the DOS. They don't hear anything about Mazina Abdikanu. They are just living in the dark. Like when you talk about the, the well being of Mazina Abdikanu, that is like report coming out from the DOS concerning Mazina Abdikanu. They don't hear anything because those roles has been blocked there is no information coming to them there's nobody giving them information about mazi in abdikanu meanwhile barista aloe jemako has been giving update about mazi in abdikanu and all of a sudden barista aloe jemako is not a good terms with the dos in fact they even insulting they gave him all sort of name saying that he's a criminal he collect money do this he do that there is a problem but that is a talk for another day but this present world from the Redo Biafra towards the Mazina, the Canons Court hearing, and a barrister, if I age of four, and all the lawyers that are working with Mazi in Abdikanu, according to Shina Sanwaru, he said that did they think that they can release Mazin Abdikanu, that all what they are working for is fake, and that everything they have everly thought of towards the release of Mazin Abdikanu is all scam. And he said that. They are doing all this for the federal government to jail Mazi in Abdikanu. That nothing good is going to come out from all these ups and down that they are just working towards the jailing of Mazi in Abdikanu. But all the same, Barrister Lloyd Jemako just came up to shock everyone today. But meanwhile, you just need to watch this video to the end and you have to listen to the response from Chinasa Uwaru that prompt to all this. All of a sudden, today, Barrister Lloyd Jemako just break the news and say that update. Myself and Prince Emmanuel Kanu has exceeded today's visitation of Onye Dumazi in Abdikanu. The situation remains tough, but Onye Du is tougher. On the flip side, we have succeeded in persuading the federal government or the federal high court to hear his case on 8 February 2024. So, the date is set. Yes, 8 February, we will be seeing Mazi in Abdikan. As this goes by, Barista Aloy Jemako also said, Bruce Fem wrote UN, AU, EU, King Shas on Mazi in Abdikanu's continued detention. Meanwhile, uh, uh, China Sanwaru said that, after all the writing up and down, that going to court in the UK, that everything is zero. Right now, we are going to listen to the fact or to some words that comes out from uh, the DOS towards Mazinab the Kano being with the DSS and the way forward and why they are thinking that all these things that Barista Lloyd Jemako is doing that is working towards putting Mazina the Kano in prison. Anyways, I don't really want to talk too much. I want to listen to him and I'll be right back. The family, the siblings of Mazen Namikano are playing on this trouble. Your stand is not their stand. For them, the Biafra struggle is a financial enterprise. It is a business enterprise. I feel ashamed of myself when we talk about Biafra to big people. They told us if it is this man, these people took money, took money, took money, that they don't want it. How 
the law understood that oh man the kind of, uh, his siblings do not have the same ideology with this Biafra struggle these people are talking about. Uh, is this the, what is happening? The siblings of Onyendu goes around, even beyond the borders of Biafra land, making money from the IPOD struggle. Making money from the IPOD struggle. Most of the people they took money from, they are also saying it. They have. Let me give you an example. There is the Commissioner for Security for, for there is the Commissioner for Security for Hotel for Mali. They call him Stanley Okoro. All the money he gave to Pine Boy, it is all recorded. All the money he gave to Wisdom, maybe when he was in a body, it was all recorded. Why I'm saying this thing is that it makes us look so stupid. You people saw Okezi Hazu. If we talk good of Okezi Hazu, then we come back to you. see his brother, the wife, they are patrolling. They are patrolling the government house on my they, they, uh, you understanding me? Why some of us have made enemy for something we do not know? You are projecting the Afra, they are projecting their cause. And this night, we want, I want to draw a line for Biafrans to understand. This house holding Mazen Landekano have sworn that Mazen Landekano will be jailed. I'm saying that tomorrow, Nobody will come on social media and shout my name. I am also a lawyer, Jimaiko, who is the lawyer, and all the lawyers remaining. All of them are pushing court to court to court. To. They are pushing Mazen Nandi Khan to jail. They are lifting him to jail with these court processes. They are moving around with. They know they're here. I'm talking to you. They are blinded by the money they have because they love the lies. They walk around their life. They use our names and also take money. They use our names to take money from politicians. You know why I'm not going to call the name of politicians? Because the person you are calling his name may be supported the struggle with his heart. They want their friend to come. If you call his name, that means you are asking the Nigerian government to go. And when he is supporting you, he's hoping he's supporting the black people. He don't know he's putting it in the pocket of those who takes the money to go to get women and the buy cars and they get escort and move. And when they see those things, they are angry. They are angry at every level of force that all of us are con masters. They look the way they look at the siblings of Oyendu is the way they are looking at us. Somebody was telling me that they said the money they are collecting from them that Tina Samu is richer ten times than Ifa Yoba. All the money collect from politicians it is Tina Samu. Can you imagine some money they collect? They say it is for these people. They collect. They say it's for. It is what is holding Mazen and the Kano in the hands of Nigerian government. There is a big black man on Mazen and the Kano. If the way they are going, they are sending Mazen and the Kano to prison because the family, the siblings have surrendered him with lies. They use his name and commit many rubbish. And today, he is trapped. They knew that Mazen and the Kano was in Kenya. These people are, they, what they are putting there is making us look like stupid people. And the world will say these people don't know what they are doing. For example, I saw one article a lawyer, Jimako, wrote one time. He was telling Tinubu to release Nande Kano because that the old Juku release Awolo. What a crap. Who listening to those bullshit? It's showing that you have given up, you don't know what to do. Also, they say, prepare to buy the man than the candle. You are not serious, for Christ's sake. Show love to Ndibo. Show that you love Ndibo by the Show love to Ndibo, the leasing man the candle. Some people are buying those cars. Hey, what does they say shall never end? I don't really understand how we ourselves we reason no. 
because the Biafra Prime Minister, which is Simon Ekpa, is in another hand doing what he know that this is what will bring Mazin in Abdi Kanu, of which a lot of people have been backing him, saying yes, because they have tried the quiet type. They have tried every aspect. It's not working. Now, he said, no, this is oppression. Let Biafra go. And he said that the only way they can release Mazin Abdi Kanu is from what he is doing. is for asking for Biafra. We need Biafra. We want Biafra to come. We want to go. That these are the things that... But a lot of people, they are saying, they should crucify him. Oh, what is he even doing? So, I don't really understand. Now, these people, they are saying, peace should be out of it. So, what is the other grand thing that people are be doing that is different from what the Biafra Prime Minister, which is Simon Ekba, from what he's doing? Because if you look at it, you see that everywhere is quiet. Everywhere is silent. Nobody is saying anything. Only what they preach to us is peace. Is it not the same people that are preaching peace and saying that, oh, they should handle the thing with care. So all of a sudden now, a lot of Salaji Mako cannot preach peace. Nobody can preach peace. All along, Baris, uh, Mike, Sa, uh, Sam Mike Ezekome has been calling not Tinibu also to release Mazin in Abdikanu. In fact, when, Tini, when any court case about Mazin Abdikanu, you will see what happened. The article that Barista um, Mike Sam Ezekome is going to write is all about pleading with Tinibu. Before now, he pleaded with Ma, uh, with uh, uh, Buhari also to release Mazin Abdikanu. Everybody has been pleading with Buhari and say, "Oh, please, if you need peace, you know, in the uh, in the southeast, release Mazin Abdikanu." I don't think that Barista Lodge Mako is the only Barista that has been talking about this peace. People are people that have come to handle this issue before. Barista Fine Jafar talk about peace. Sam, there's even one day he, he knelt down and he was pleading, saying that for peace to come to such a part of Nigeria, Mazin Abdikanu must be released. Everybody is sharing all this. Even remember when they said they should bring Mazin Abdikanu as a Christmas gift. Ah, ah, a lot of people were happy and all of a sudden the thing did not go the way it, it wanted. Even there is one time Barista, if I am if I am first said, if they did not release Mazin Abdikan that December 50, ah uh, ah, uh, he said what is going to happen is this, what is going to happen is that, and they did not see happen. All what we just hear is that is sad. And now, Barista Elijah Mako have secured another date again, that is February 8th, for another hearing of Mazin Abdikan's case. So I think every energy should be shining on that day. Let us see the result. Let us hope that Mazina the Kano will be released on that day. And meanwhile, you hear from the update to, I'm not the one that said it to, this is happening on Radio Biafra, when they are saying the reason why Mazina the Kano has not been released. That means some politicians are there funding this Biafra race during the time of the DOS, during the time of the leadership. Some politicians have been helping them giving them money. If that was what he was saying. Since some politicians are helping. Though you don't want to mention the names of the politicians that they are helping in giving money, in doing a lot of things, backing them because they need Biafra. That those people pack out when they see the way the family of Mazina the Kano has been collecting money and all that. See, anybody will just know the truth. I may just come at play because we don't tell you for all this all this story today this one tomorrow this one next tomorrow this one can you imagine everything that is happening right now anyways people go see the talk say simon and i they work with the federal government of nigeria oh now see the reason we you people see the reason why I say that now. Only Simon Ekman I be the person where we say not they work with the uh, politicians because since all these things they happen, let's tell ourselves the truth. Since all these things they happen, how many times when I don't hear when they say one politician call help for fundraise, one politician call give her money, or he call later surrender to one politician. So, okay, let's be working together in all day no more but we hear that from the dos when they say some politicians they support this biafra because they won't say make biafra come i don't know whether somebody's getting the point now they are saying simon is working with the federal government of nigeria but there is no account 
that they said this person, this politician, don't give Simon Epa money. You guys remember the time of this election, February 24th, when they say, oh, that they use Simon Epa against Peter Obi, saying that because of Simon Epa made Peter Obi not win, or they are using Simon Epa to fight Peter Obi. But all is calm, all is not true. At the end of the day, we got to get the latest update, we got to hear the truth. Now, from the DOS, I don't tell you, say, some politicians, the way they assist, they help this Biafra struggle because they want Biafra to come. But none of all these politicians never come out to, to put hand for share, say, of a truth. Now, then they support this Biafra struggle. But my point be, say, this one are the same people that also come and say, say, I'm not they collect money from politicians. Me, why not? Then the politicians, they give money. I don't know if you are getting me because this is too, this is, in fact, you can see, drop your opinion in the comment section if there is something that is different from what I believe or what you yourself you believe that is why in this platform we are here to air our view drop your opinion in the comment section right now who is working with the politicians it is obvious who is working with the politician because when i talk they go say ah you don't start again no but now you hear it already that the politicians has been helping not be today it does they help for long and that means there is a problem between the family of Mazina the canoe and the dos because of the money the politicians are bringing because you hear from him said the politicians they refuse to be dropping money because the family of Mazina the Kanu that they use them as business they don't they drop the money for Biafra Stro oh, do they hear them everything please drop your opinion in the comments shop but meanwhile let's hope for February 8 according to Barista Aloy Ejemako to see Mazi in Abdi Kanu and to pray and to hold him again to welcome him back because his freedom is what we really need right now please do it to share this video like and subscribe as I give you all the update back to back thank you and bye bye